can't be all that involved with them, he'd never have got the job. Have you considered who the politicians and officials are that are handing out the posts of authority? No, I mean it. You just think about it. There's Mulfeld, Gauleiter of Frankfurt. Malvesi, naturalized German, who was a prominent fascist with Mussolini. Volkmann, Stumbahn Führer in Denmark, suddenly made an appearance in 1956. Speth, Ritter, well, we know all about them. Why shouldn't they appoint a Maurer? That way they'd all feel safer. Are you saying the whole regime is ex-Nazi? No, no, of course I'm not. It isn't true. But there are enough of them. Every time we find another Eichmann, there's always a reason to delay bringing it into court. Always another loophole in the law to give them added protection. You're only partially right, Richard. I mean... How much does it cost to bring a war criminal to trial, huh? It's better to build schools with the money. And those loopholes in the law, don't they also protect the innocent? I mean, would you have different laws for some people? Even so, I resent being moved out of the way just because I'm becoming difficult. That's the old way, Carl. I don't want to see it return. Well, nor do I. I resent Nazis hiding behind our laws, but I'll defend their right to do so. You can't have laws for one and different laws for another. You can't, Richard. What do you expect me to do, then? Take a nice holiday with pay, just forget about it, accept expediency is the answer to everything. I've only just got over the feeling of shame that I'm a German. I'm not ashamed any longer. The sins of the father and all that stuff, I've worn it long enough. And we all? It's only a handful anyway, does it matter? I'm not so sure it is just a handful. I was in Austria last year watching a discreet but unconcealed celebration. Half the town were out in the cafes, all toasting Hitler's birthday. It isn't even dead yet, never mind buried. Somebody's been through my things. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure, I know my own mess. Well, you want to, you're a desk man. Who did you bring home last night? They've done it damn well, too. Can I use your phone? Light up. Yes? When? Yeah, give me the address. Uh, have you got a pen? Hang on. Thanks. Okay. Right, thanks, Willie. Really. Police have just found a murdered girl in Krefeld. They got on to me because I think it's political. She had a swastika carved into her flesh, and she was Israeli. My God. Where did he go, gang? With you? I suggest if you want to call this flat home, you sweep every room for bugs. Oh, crikey, that takes ages. Damn the man. Damn him. I should never have given the interview in the first place. It was ill-advised, Hans. Oh, it was a gamble. It might have scotched the snake, even if it didn't kill it. To have refused might either have implied direct guilt or a wish to avoid publicity. He claims he has further revelations about the organization. And there to be more television programs. No, I don't think so. I think the time has come for Mein Herr van Eyck to stop his investigations. Yes, I quite agree. But it is essential that you should now leave Germany for a while. You were attending the trade conference in London anyway. You will then be strategically placed either to return unobtrusively or to leave for safety elsewhere. If it does mean leaving, you do realize I would not go empty-handed, Rupert. Oh, my dear Manfred, naturally. What will you do about Van Eyck? Not quite sure yet. And what about that Israeli girl? The Jewess is now in the Promised Land with her Jehovah. Well, that seems a little extreme. 
Well, you know what our young eagles are like. You should control them. <laughs> They're a little overzealous, perhaps. But their hearts are in the right place. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen, my friend. No. You seen the body? Not very pretty. Seem to recognize the symbol. Ruth Lieberman, Israeli subject, native of Tel Aviv, age 26, apparently tourist. No known connections with any organizations, ours or theirs. Traveling uh, and registered here with another Israeli girl. Another one? We didn't know about her. Registered as Mikhail Rack, Israeli, age 25. Domicile given as Tel Aviv, 127 Dizengoff Street. The swastika decoration on the dead girl's back implies it's political. Come and look at this. What do you know that we don't, Carl? Make out your report in the usual way, Dieter. Then let me have a copy of the full report, personally. Is this political? Or security? I'm not sure what it is. Wait here, will you? Messenger's arrived. He will deliver this to the Geston Holtbank Zurich. Into the hand of the manager, Herr Ippenklop, who will sign this receipt, which the messenger on his return will deposit into my bank in Bonn. Right. He will enter Switzerland at Basel and return by the same route. There's no need to declare these at the border. They're simply uh, banker's instructions.
Ah. May we assist you? Yes, I, um... I had a message for Herr Dorf, but, uh... Well, obviously, not here. Never mind. Do you want coffee? Yes, thanks. That'd be nice. Where's your father? Gone to his room to rest. Do you know he sent a letter to Zurich by special messenger? I wonder if it's an advance warning to the bank. He's moving money without doubt. Yeah, he's done that before. Doesn't normally do it himself. Black or white? Uh, white. Black, I'm afraid. Well? I've checked up on Dorf. He's packed his bags and left his house in Crefeld. Yes, but you know where he went? Not exactly, but the telephonist at the factory said he might be at his country house. Well, it's a possibility, I suppose. I think you're right. It is worth following up. Because if Dorf is Kessler, there might be a connection with this murdered Israeli girl. What was her name? One Ruth Lieberman. A native of Tel Aviv, now in another world, with a swastika carved on her back. But she was travelling with a friend, also from Tel Aviv. Mikael Rack? You didn't tell me there were two of them. I didn't know there were two of them. Do you think they did? The Israeli authorities want an urgent report. Tricky. I knew the right girl was coming here because Van Eyck told me. But how did they know? That reminds me. Van Eyck's supposed to be arriving at the Bureau in an hour or so. Do you want me to head him off and show him round here? Please. I think I'm becoming accident prone too. Car windscreen shattered as I was walking past this morning. in the grounds. Well, that's not good enough. Who? Oh, very well. No, I'm leaving the day after tomorrow for England. Because they don't look for people like us in England. Can you think of a better place? You better get in some more food. They're sending Demo here. Good. I like Otto. He's positive. Starting to print too many articles like this. Maurer's losing his grip. Well, he has to be especially careful. You said so yourself. His position's too important to lose for us. You're only cross because they call you old and refer to your military rank as insignificant. There were no high ranks in the Gestapo. Some of the most feared and powerful men in Germany held ranks the equivalent of sergeant. They could still put the fear of God into a field marshal. I should never have agreed to that idiot. I was badly advised. It's over and done with. Forget about it. It's all just a waste of time. We're all getting old. There's still so much to do. Let Reichsleiter Bormann do it. He controls all that money and does nothing. Does he think a new Germany will be built by inspecting 50 Dagos who fancy themselves in SS gear? The Reichsleiter is still our leader. He's trained many younger men to take his place when... Uh... When he drops dead, groping the middle-aged senoras whose husbands are too intimidated to object. Ingrid! Why don't you and Rukert take command? Between you, you know everyone. And still have faith in the Reich. 
They've never even seen Borman. Oh, who cares about him? He was never anybody. The others were great. He's nothing. He is alive. That is not nothing. Van Eyck? Yes? Herr Bauer asks if you would meet him at this address. It is his apartment. Why his apartment? Please. All right. If I must. Oh, it's gone to earth. I think we ought to try and flush him out. Is your man going to stay with it? What was his name? Yes, I'm led to believe so. Bothers me, rather. He's not a field operator, and the going is almost certain to get nasty. Mm, yes. Well, actually, all we really want to know, Tom, is the truth about Dolph's identity. I mean, this chap Dolph could be any one of three blokes we know about. It's only this television fellow that seems to be convinced, and they're not the most reliable of people. Well, are they? Oh. No. I think we need to have Mr. Dolph on our own cabbage patch. Then we can find out. Tell me, what Machiavellian scheme do you have in mind? Adolf has an appointment at the trade fair here in London in three or four days' time. I think we should let Dirty Tricks have a field day, don't you? If you intend to, you will. It's not my scene. And now, if you don't mind, I have work to do. Oh, I thought we were working. Hi, Tom. <laughs> We worked on this together, Van Eyck. So far, it's been a rather one-sided arrangement. It's time to deliver. Isn't that why you came? Perhaps. We agreed to an interchange, didn't we? Uh -huh. I want the stuff you've got on Dorf's financial background. Where he got his initial backing, how many accounts, how much. And what do I get? My production file. This is just your original broadsheet. There's nothing here I haven't got already. You promised me a copy of everything you had after the production. Be patient. The whole thing's building. It's catching on. I'm going to make that bastard sweat blood. Did you see the interview I did for Develt? That didn't give away much either, it merely implied. <laughs> I don't give my cake away all in one slice, Bauer. If you don't hand around your cake pretty smartly, my dear Van Eyck, you might find it taken out of your hands. What do you mean? Merely to remind you what happened to the Israeli girl. Ah, they won't touch me. Look, do I get anything or not? I just want one final chance to nail him. It's the business of government departments to apprehend war criminals. This isn't a publicity stuff. Ah, stuff that bad. Governments haven't given a damn about the Nazis since Nuremberg. And that was just a sanctimonious circus. It had no possible validity in international law. By stretching it out the way you are, you're making it increasingly It's not my problem. Way. I've got him by the short and curly. I still think you're putting yourself at great risk. Risk? Rubbish. They wouldn't dare touch me. My face is known and recognized from the Mississippi to the Mekong. Fräulein Michal Rack, my name is Lida. I would like to speak with you, please. 
Do we have to now? I mean, I'm going somewhere. Uh, if you would, please. Uh, it is important. What do you want? Fräulein Rack, we know what has happened to your friend, Ruth Lieberman. We also suspect that you intend to try for what you believe to be revenge upon a German citizen. Herr Manfred Dorf. So are you going to arrest me? Is that what you're saying? That man is a Nazi, did you know that? He's really an SS butcher called Kessler. Why don't you people do something Fraulein, about these Nazis? Please, Fraulein, calm me, please. I'm not going to arrest you, stop you or anything. I even agree with what you say. I, too, believe him to be Kessler. I don't. I can't believe that. How did you know I was here? Let's just say our police are wonderful. I see you have been shopping. Presumably, the hunting rifle is to kill Kassler. Is that what you have in mind? I can't let you kill him, because we need to keep him alive. More Nazi cover-up? No, on the contrary. We need him to lead us to the others. No deal, Mr. Leider. After the war, many Nazi war criminals fled to South America, but they left a huge fortune behind in Switzerland. The survivors who managed to remain undetected placed themselves well in the new Germany. They have more power than is generally believed. Dangerous power. Potentially dangerous, I mean. Then you have a problem, Mr. Leider. We know that fund is still unmoved. We believe we know the signatories to it. We believe one of them is a man calling himself Manfred Dorf. We believe the moving of that money is imminent. You mean they're going to try and blow up the world? You'll have to do better than that, Mr. Leider. For reasons that must be obvious even to a foreigner. And a Jew. We must be certain who is a Nazi and who isn't. We need to know what they intend to do in order to thwart it. Now, we are very near to cracking this, Fraulein. We do not intend to let any young lady hell-bent on personal revenge spoil years of patient and dangerous work. Do I make myself understood? You do. I'll think about it. You do that, Fraulein. Be staying long. I shall come with you to London.
Well? The man Bauer seems to have uh, gone away. His concierge says to the Schwarzwald. Uh, what about the television man, Van Eyck? Mm -hmm. The police agree that uh, it was a heart attack. Unfortunate. Occupational hazard, I imagine. <laughs> Has there been anyone else? No. But Herr Director Maurer still feels you should leave the country for a period. <laughs> That's all very well for him. I don't want to leave the country. I am perfectly happy in my life and my work. My age, it's not easy to uproot oneself, whatever the cause. Mm. I understand. Uh, where is Franz? He has gone into Cologne to make the hotel and plane reservations. So, you still mean to go to this London trade fair in spite of what's happened? No one's looking for me in England because they don't care about me there. I think you are exaggerating the dangers in Germany. You see, here we have some control. Don't be so naive. What hold there is must be maintained. I will be thrown to the wolves, quite rightly, but it is my neck. There's some coffee in the kitchen if you'd like to help yourself. I will decide what I'm going to do. If the Kameradenwerke continues to need substantial funds, they will continue to rely upon their wealthy old guard to provide it. Unless Bormann can be made to release the millions he's holding in South America. Why hasn't anyone else access to National Socialist money? It's not his own. The Reichsleiter will do as he sees fit. The others would only squander the fortune in unbridled living. In their 70s, I find the idea of unbridled living hilariously funny. They were not always old men. The fortune is secure because Reichsleiter Bormann has not parted with either the money or with access to it. And I have no intention of parting with my own contributions to any intermediary. What's it all for, Father? All in good time, my dear. Just be patient. If your Kameraden are awaiting a second coming, they're going to be as disappointed as the Christians. is back. Oh, I'm sorry. I was far away. Flight tickets, hotel reservations. Thank you, friends. There's somebody looking at the house from across the lake. Fazan, Fazan, enter. 
Our birds have flown. They've just flown past me. I'm following. Stay with them. I'll catch up and double with you. Stop! Drop your gun! Drop your gun! Turn around. Slowly. Hands up. Empty your pockets. Empty your pockets! Uh, here's your ticket for Zurich. You are already checked in. I should leave when the London flight is called, but instead go to gate number 11 and wait for the Zurich flight. You will be met. Thank you. Thank you. Is Herr Dorf and his party popped on, please? Uh, Herr Dorf. Lufthansa 351 to London. Thank you. They booked on flight 351 to London. Oh. Okay. You got any uh, coins? Thank you. He's just left on Lufthansa flight number 351. A London Heathrow. No. I'd like to come to London and follow it through. If that doesn't go against anything you have in mind. 
Fine. No. No, I'll make contact. Thank you. Goodbye. My father's taking money with him. This time it's different. He went to the bank in Zurich. So that's what he needed the messenger for. I think he's transferring money from his own account. Possibly his last personal contribution to the organization. I think he means to leave Germany for good. What about the house and the factory? Well, there was a time I assumed he'd leave that to me. I know that isn't the case now. Oh, he will have provided for me very adequately. I know that he loves me. There's something he loves more. Something he's waiting for and living for. Well, it won't come through those old fools in South America. I'm frightened that it won't come at all. I think he went to Zurich himself because he was to move a very great deal of money that no one else could. Do you mean the party funds that have been there since the end of the war? Well, it be billions by now. And those old fools will squander it. Or it'll disappear into deposit accounts that'll die with them. There'll be nothing left for our people and our fight for the new Germany. And what do you suppose that we can do about it? Are we going to take on your father and Colonel Ruckert? Are we going to take on the Kameradenwerk? We may have to. It's our only possibility as I see it. You're frightened of them, aren't you? Yes, I'm frightened of them. Anyone who isn't is a fool. Maybe old men, but they've got younger arms, longer arms, and they're everywhere. They play games. So they're old men playing games. But it's a hell of a game. And they're good at it. And they're good at it. So are we. Ingrid, we're amateurs. Kameradenwerk's an organization in depth. Goes back layer on layer. Do you know who's one of them and who isn't? I don't, but they do. It's like it's branded into them. Something larger than life and not quite natural. Scares the hell out of me, even though I work for them. Your flight. Oh, it's not too bad. How do Thanks. This way. me meeting you instead of Tom, but now it's all arrived in the UK. It really is my lobby. Then you're MI5? Yes, that's right. And Deakin in MI6 has nothing more to do with it? Uh, not quite like that, but uh, let's leave it at that for the moment. Your man wasn't on that wretched plane, the one you said? No. Anyway, he was spotted arriving from Zurich. I like the Swiss. People say things about them. We found them to be very helpful. He had some business at a bank there, and one of the first things he did when he arrived in London was trot along to the city, Becker and Seaberg, London Wall. He found Dorf has quite a lot of assets in the UK, around three and a half million Deutschmark. Nice. Use that sort of money myself. Curious thing was, that as late as last week, that's all it was. As of three hours ago, it was 19 million. Interesting, isn't it? Dorf Industries monies? Could be. Could be. They maybe tried to move it. Well, there wouldn't be much point in watching it if he didn't, would there? 
No, you see, we think it's on its way to swell the coffers of the dear old Kameraden Becker. Where is Dorp now, do you know? Oh, didn't I tell you? He's staying in Russell Square. His daughter's with him. And a rather pretty young German boy. You aren't being completely open with me, are you, Commander? Her Majesty's government are not in any way committed to the pursuit of war criminals. It's all too far back in the dim distance to get any votes today. But we in London like to keep our files up to date, as I'm sure you do in Bonn. We can't officially do anything, but we, we will nibble round the edges to see what's in the centre, if you follow me. Our Grand Panjandrum thinks it would be a good idea if we encouraged you. What do you want? Good man. We're interested in the Johnny who runs the Kamerad and Becker. We think we know who it is, but we're not sure. If Dorf is who you think he is, he could lead us, or rather you, right to his backside. Where's your father? In there. Dorf. The Israeli girl. She's outside the hotel watching. Nonsense, man. The girl was eliminated. With respect, sir, it was I who had personal contact with her. I have no doubt it's the same girl. You're quite sure? Quite sure. Has a hire car arrived yet? Yes, sir. It's outside the hotel. Good. Hello, reception. Would you get me seven double eight double three zero two, please? Thank you. I intend to deal with this here and now. Please be careful. Don't worry, Franz will come with me. Hello? Provider? Dorf. The Israeli girl has turned up again. No, apparently not. I wish to deal with it now. Yes, I know the way. Yes. Oh, Ingrid, um, I'm expecting Colonel Rooker shortly. Would you please explain what's happened?
I need to know what she's doing here and why. Whether she's part of a hit team. I'll just have to try and persuade her to talk, won't I? Yes, you will. Otto Demmel is dead. His body was found in the lake by the house. He'd been killed with a knife. By that Jewish girl or one of her friends. Why are they after my father? He's of no consequence to the Jews. Well, that is something we'll have to find out, my dear. You say that the girl is here in London and your father is dealing with her by himself? Well, he and Franz. Mm-hmm. Well, when he comes back, tell him that I have been here and that if he has any problems, I shall be available at my Berry Street number until nine o'clock tomorrow morning. Why won't you work with my friends? We need your guidance. That's enough. Get rid of her. 